animals, just like human beings, have their own welfare. And one of the ways to show their welfare is by housing those animals. And uh, the importance of housing the animal, one is that to protect, to protect the animal, the goat from adverse weather conditions, which might be rain, wind, uh, among other weather conditions. And goat, for example, they are very prone to pneumonia. So if you, if you expose them to wind and also rain, they might be infected. Uh, the other reason why we house this animal is to protect them from predators. They are enemies. Uh, another reason why we protect, uh, we house goats, among other animals, is to protect them from pests and diseases. We realize that some diseases are airborne, other are, in, are transmitted by pests. For example, ticks. Uh, if we control the movement of other animals to the shed, and you reduce the movement of pests, which can infect the animal. So you protect these goats from these diseases. The other reason why we house, we, we do housing for the goats is to, pro to provide conducive environment for production. It has been shown that those animals which are take given good care tend to increase their production with a higher percentage. So it is important also to provide those animals with a good shed and also a good environment for production purposes. When setting up a, a goat house, it is important also to, to check, to look at some various factors. Uh, and these factors include one, the house should be rain proof. No rain should be able to enter the house. Then this one will cause dampness in the house. The other factor is wind. We said that wind is an enemy to goats because it, co it causes pneumonia or it predisposes goats to pneumonia. So the house should be weed proof. All the sides should be weed, should be should have a material that will not allow uh, weed to go through. The other one is good ventilation. Uh, air, should, air should be able to enter the house in and out. And also temperatures should also be should circulate within the, the house. The other, the other thing should be avoided is sharp objects. Sharp objects uh, may cause secondary damage or a secondary injury and secondary injuries arouse infections so this one should be avoided uh, and from what we know about the behavior of a goat they have a tendency of climbing so all the sharp objects should be avoided in the house the other one is the slated floor the floor should have uh, spaces to allow the droppings uh, of the goat to to go down. This one is to allow the dropping uh, or what we call the fecal material and urine to penetrate. The the other one is the good area, and we are, the recommended area is two meters squared per every goat. So we know if we have ten goats, the area should be. 20, that is 10 multiplied by 2. It should be, should be 20 meters squared. Uh, the other factor that we should factor in is damp proof. The house of a goat should not be dumpy. So all, it should be always dry uh, to avoid infections and also avoid pneumonia. The other factor to consider is predator proof. Uh, no predator should enter the goat house. All these factors should be factored in when setting up a goat house. When setting up a goat house, it is advisable for, for startup farmers 
to use the locally available materials to lower the initial initial cost the locally available materials can be you can the farmer can use mud you can also use uh, polythene bags to cover the sides a farmer can as well use grass to thatch the roof uh, this is all to cut cost you can use uh, farmer can also use the normal iron sheets uh, just to lower the cost so uh, locally available materials can be introduced or used to lower the cost during setting up the goat, ha goat house now let's let's look at the 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 sketch or the demonstration of how a, a goat house should look like uh, we have uh, our house here and you, as you can see it is subdivided into various compartments and the first compartment you have the back where the back stays and you see they are not mixed up with the door for the reason we said to control mating so the back stays alone and this is the sleeping area for the back and this is the feeding area if you look at the, our house the sleeping area is covered but for the feeding area is supposed not to be roofed reason we want to allow the animal to enjoy the the sunlight same happens to the doors this is the feeding trough and our feeding trough in most cases supposed to be uh, one meter then we have another important uh, compartment this is the kid pen whereby all the the kids are uh, are, are kept we have also the the hay barn here this is where you put all the feeds uh, the animal feeds and everything we also have the milk impala uh, where those are being milked other important items in our structure include water trough this structure must always have a water trough which can be plastic or it can be concrete we also have the mineral trough this is where you feed the animal with the required minerals we also have uh, the feeding area of course this is the feeding area we can we can indicate in our picture this is the feeding area and this is our sleeping area these are these are the most important uh, sections or compartments in our uh, plan when when design when designing a goat house goats are said to be browsers uh, meaning goats enjoy eating fodder which is above them but in, in in that case we have those goats which are open field unless this kind of system which is zero grazing uh, we have a system which we call paddocking or rotational grazing rotational grazing is important especially when it comes to utilization of uh, fodder utilization of fodder and also allow the the paddocks to regenerate and also to grow so this is a system where the goats once they completely exhaust the fodder in this particular section they can be taken to section like for four once they are done with section four two three and that one and this is called rotational grazing and by the moment they are finishing the last paddock the first one is already it has already regenerated so this kind of system is called paddocking and this one only applies where the farmer has large piece of land but for this one is where the farmer has a limited area of land and therefore he can uh, apply zero grazing system in in paddocks the most common uh, equipment that are found is the water trough because the, the the animal must take some water and also the mineral traps to supply minerals to the to the animals also we can have some uh, some shade uh, just to make sure that animals are not rained on 